What's up, everyone? So today's video, an uh, exciting video, I want to talk about uh, emotional uh, pain versus physical uh, pain. Uh, the other day, I, I was working out. I wasn't, I wasn't feeling too dandy. Let's be honest. Um, it comes with the territory, for whatever reason. And um, there's a lot of physical. Uh, I was physically fatigued. Let's put it that way physical pain, the burning, the lactic acid building up when you're trying to squat, you know, at six o'clock in the morning, you, you know, I don't run very often anymore. I don't do too much cardio because of my legs, but you've been on those runs where you're running outside or you're on that incline at the treadmill at the gym or even outside, even worse when the weather's bad and you're running up those hills. I hated running hills and it's just building up on your legs and your legs feel wobbly. Catch what I'm saying. There's a lot of physical pain, that whole saying, no pain, no gain, right? And the physical um, torture that you put yourself through when you work out, um, it gets easier. Oh, I, should, well, I don't know if it gets easier. It's more tolerable when you're in better shape. I consider myself to be in fairly good shape for my age. I've been active my whole life, but it's still not easy. And uh, while I was going through this physical torture, as they call it, this physical... Um, physical challenges while you're working out, I started thinking about uh, people that have emotional pain that's hiding behind um, their body that they're not happy with. Because uh, I, I totally believe that majority of people that have weight issues, um, whether you're overweight, obese, or even... You know, you have an eating disorder, binge eating disorder, anorexia, bulimia, or you just have body image issues in general, uh, body dysmorphia. The, the root of all that is, uh, a lot of it is emotional pain from usually uh, some past event, maybe your childhood, maybe you were bullied, and um, I think a lot of people turn to food for comfort. I mean, that's you probably can relate to this or you know a lot of people that go through this even though they may not uh, admit to it. I think there's a very small minority of people that are general, generally uh, happy with their life and who just like to eat and are a little bit overweight. But the people that are extremely overweight and I, I truly believe that it's not just because they like food. I don't think it's that simple. I believe there's something internally, some emotional pain that they have that they that's unresolved that they need to fix. So I wanna talk about the, uh, I don't wanna make this video too long, the emotional pain versus the physical pain. And, and do you understand that uh, no matter how much uh, physical pain, uh, physical, uh, physical pain you put yourself through a workout, uh, just understand that it's never gonna to amount to the emotional pain that, that you have from within if you don't uh, try to tackle that that issue. So um, I love to give examples. It's the best way. Uh, so for instance, if there's a female that has been uh, dealing with her weight her whole life and she was teased as a child and she, or she just never lived up to the expectations, let's say she has other sisters that are, and I'm just using this as an example. I don't, this is not from anybody I know, but you know, she uh, has sisters that are much more slimmer than her. She's always comparing herself to, uh, to her sisters, and she gets, she never gets compliments. She, you know, this 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 example. I'll just call her Sarah. Has that emotional burden that she carries, and you know, and um, she eventually tries to, uh, tries to uh, make her life better. She tries to better her life by getting a trainer. She starts working out, and while she's working out, because she hasn't worked out in many, many years, she, uh, it becomes very hard. She's out of shape, and all that extra uh, physical pain that she has to go through, the physical torment of working out, because you know how it goes. When you haven't worked out in a long time, it's very, very rough. And she may be thinking that uh, this is just not worth it. This is just too, too much to handle. I can't breathe. I have a hard time breathing when I'm even walking. Um, this is very common. A lot of people tend to just retreat and just say forget it and they give up. 
But understand that that is just temporary. That physical pain is just temporary. The physical pain that you have during your workout, that is going to, that energy is just temporary. The physical pain is temporary. It's going to replace that emotional burden that you carry because as you work out, you're going to re release endorphins. It's been proven. You often feel better after you work out. Once you recover, you get your air back in your lungs. Yes, you're going to have some soreness afterwards, but over time you can build on that. And when you do that along with, let's say, you need to get some therapy, you need to talk to some friends, you develop a proper meal plan, you plan things ahead, you uh, cut out negative people, negative influences in your life. When you start doing that, the temporary physical pain that you get from working out is 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 going to feel it's going to feel it's going to feel it's going to feel it's going to feel minute compared to that uh emotional pain that um you may have so um hopefully that makes sense it's just this is just another way of trying to also keep things into perspective so whenever you're working out and it just hurts so much just understand that if you do have an emotional problem um underneath that uh, this this step this crucial step of uh, working out and working through the pain working through being out of shape is only temporary and uh, by doing this you'll be well, well on your way to uh, recovery that's my time thanks for watching uh comments questions always welcome and i'll catch you in the next one bye